to everyone. I think someone is still singing. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to, well, it's a combination meeting today. Welcome to the Mount of Prayers for this week um, and the Family Altar for this week. Um, uh, the Kings are women here now. I don't know if there are other people on here, but the women from Kings are now that's uh, this morning. The Mount of Prayers will be a combination of both the Mount of Prayers as well as our um, our uh, our monthly prayers. Today is the last day <clears throat> of our monthly prayers, and so instead of meeting at 1 a.m. and then meeting at 5:30 a.m. as well, we've decided to combine combine it. So we'll do a bit of mountain up, but then we'll also take some prayers. And as I announced on the groups, um, for those who maybe don't you know pay attention to WhatsApp as much, we're going to be taking communion today. So for those who are in King's Arrow, those who are not in King's Arrow, um, as long as you're part of the prayers this morning, you know, you can have your communion items around, um, just have them handy. We're going to be taking communion um, right before we go into the family altar. So just have that um, on hand. And so once again, welcome to the Mount of Prayers this week. We're going to be praying. Let's just spend a few minutes just um, mountain. Let's just spend a few minutes just bringing ourselves up um, in spirit. I know many of you have been on the call on the on the marathon before now, but some people are still logging on. So we want to get to a place where everybody is in the same location in the spirit. Um, and then as we begin to take certain prayer points, we know that everybody is being carried along. So wherever you are, let's just open our mouth and begin to pray in the spirit and just bring our spirit up to where we need to be this morning. Ya 
Thank <laughs> you. 
Amen. 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 I apologize for punctuating this, but I had to um but I don't know if anybody can pick it, but there's a very um distinct uh, flow there's there's an ease of opening in the spirit this morning to mount up and so i do want to say this you know this is a time uh, obviously it's optional and so it's a time where we're coming here to to gain an advantage in the spirit we're not i mean it's all of these meetings are optional but so i want to say this you know when we gather like this please be very 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 sensitive you know we cannot all be gathering and mounting up and everybody's raising our voices together as one to achieve this this goal and, and you know someone is is i guess you're doing something wherever you are and i understand that but you must stay on mute if you will not participate in the company of those who are mounting up please stay on mute it's 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 highly distracting and a very very great disservice to everyone who's gathered right joining us one voice and then you know you're engaging in maybe some conversation where you are and then you're off mute and it it's it, please for the sake of others right so like i said you know i understand that we all have different things that we're doing i always say that i understand you know the, the life of a woman and the things that um you know you you have to pay attention to but when you come on the altar like this it's serious business it's very serious business so if something has to distract you ensure that that distraction does not you know slip into the rest of the group so just make sure that you are muted for that purpose okay thank you thank you very much so um i was just going to mention that there is an unusual uh, uh opening 
I don't I don't even know what that is, but there's an unusual opening for everyone who's actually serious, whose heart is actually posture to mount up. So let us just take this, you know, moment seriously. We're going to um wind wind it up in a few minutes just so we can take some prayers pertaining to the uh to, to the monthly prayers. But I want us to just please take advantage of this moment. There is an unusual ease, an unusual ease, an unusual ease. So I want us to plug into it, step into it. So please, again, once again, if you have to be uh, engage in other conversations that have nothing to do with what we're doing. Just ensure that you are muted so everybody else is not distracted. God bless you. Let's just open our mouth again for a few more minutes before we wind down this section. Kenya <laughs> Nara, who's the Baba Baba? Get it. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father, we just bless your name. We just mm-hmm. bless your name. Thank you, Lord, for that unusual opening that unusual opening that was made available for us in the spirit we just said thank you lord thank you lord because every single person who came on this altar right now with the true intention to mount up <clears throat> was granted that that access was granted that access so we thank you lord we thank you lord i want to just mention something that i picked in the spirit even as we prayed honestly i'm, I'm still trying to understand you know how that happened or why that happened but you know we're just grateful for that but one thing i picked very very palpably on the spirit was was that um uh, as a result of those prayers that were happening and we were mounting up somewhere along the line you know i heard the the word of the lord you know the shout of uh, the king <clears throat> is among them and then i saw another brief picture and what it looked like was just you know like a scepter being being, being stretched in that direction and so uh the word of the lord that came to me was that this morning <clears throat> for some reason something that we touched even as we mounted up was favor favor very distinct favor i don't know what that was of all the different you know things that we could have laid hold of as we mounted up but what i heard and what i picked very clearly was that we laid hold of favor this morning somehow you know the heart of the king was turned in that direction and what that released what that made available for everyone on the altar this morning is favor so I want to release that word over everyone, you know, and to be expectant in the spirit and um, proceed, you know, as you go about your affairs with the awareness of what has been made available for you today, right? This is why we mount up, right? We don't come here asking, Lord, grant me favor or this and that, but there are things that we touch when we get that high in the spirit and when we leave even the place of prayer, they are attached to us and they go with us wherever we go. So the very distinct thing that is attached to us even this morning as a result of these prayers that we've made is favor. So I, I encourage everyone who has maybe been uh, making an attempt at something in the past to approach that situation again with that mindset of favor that is latched onto you. It's like a, it's almost like a, 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 a cloak, just something that is slapped on you. It's just attached to you, and so people have to respond to it because it, you know they can see it, right? And they don't even know that that's what they are seeing, but something pushes them to 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 respond to you um in a favorable way. So I encourage everyone to go back into places where it felt like it was blocked, <clears throat> and go back there with this mind, not even just the mindset, with this word, right? With what the Lord has released favor, favor, favor. I don't know why, whether it's maybe in business, in whatever area, whatever it is that, you know, you have needed favor to basically grease the wheels um, of your entrance. Favor has been released to you go back to those other situations or you approach new situations that you didn't have the courage to knowing that favor has um has been attached to you and it's you know going with you thank you father thank you father um i had a, a couple of prayer points that i wanted us to take as far as the monthly prayers to wrap up the prayer but just a reminder we're going to be taking communion as we come to the end of this section in about 10 minutes so if you haven't you know gotten your communion uh uh, instruments just have them uh, nearby. Now, if you don't have like you know the the basic, not basic, but the regular type of communion, which is you know the the one we have in church, you know with the uh, bread, um, unleavened bread and wine, just get something, um, maybe a piece of bread that you have in your house, and maybe just you know a little uh, cup of uh, some type of water just because we're going to be praying over it anyway and we're going to be uh sanctifying it and uh you know using that so just grab something um that you have available and have it close by we're going to pray um i want to you know take this prayer point but before we take it it's actually going to be thanksgiving um yesterday when we prayed um I had mentioned some things that I sensed that God was doing specifically in our midst. And I mentioned a couple of them too specifically. And the first was that God was allocating angels to bring people out of a cycle, a repeated cycle or 
basically a, a, a cycle of repeated um a pattern of repeated cycles right going round and round and never actually coming out of those cycles and then the other was just you know the lord uh showing up and 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 rewriting our identity our names so that we're addressed the way that we're supposed to be you know those were spontaneous they were not part of the uh the meeting plan basically they were not part of the prayer plan but they were spontaneous and i said that you know i i wanted god to show us a sign to give us a sign that he did he uh sent that word and that you know um, the things that we stood here uh, about and prayed about were already noted in the spirit and were being actioned. And overnight, I had this uh, dream and I saw one of us. Um, no, no need to even know the name of the person, but I saw one of us and um, they were doing something, but right in the middle of what they were doing and they were just trying to, uh, you know, have conversation and all of that. And suddenly, um, the person just kind of leaned over and came into this place of contractions. And right there in front of me, the person was basically having contractions like they were going to give birth. And so initially I was confused and I said, what, you know, what's going on? And then I realized what was happening. And right in the middle of those contractions, this person who should have been, you know, perhaps, you know, calling for help or whatever the case may be, burst into into thanksgiving, burst into praise and just started thanking God and just started thanking God um, even as they, were, as, they were, as they were at the point of birth. And I was like, you know, are you okay? And, you know, the person responded so ecstatic, of course, of course, with so much joy, like this is what, you know, um, I've been waiting for. So of course I'm, you know, I'm okay and I'm, I'm happy and just continue to give thanks to God. So I want us to um, just give thanks to God for that, right? Because that was a very, uh, you know, needed, um, one second, Mm, okay. Okay, Shade. I don't know, Shade. Do you want to share it, or do you want to uh, speak on that later? Do you want to share it now, or do you want to speak on that later when I'm done with um with this? When you're done, that's fine. Just keep going. Okay, great. Okay, great. So I saw that, and it was just a happy. It was a moment of joy in the spirit. You know, you would expect somebody pregnant to be, you know, shouting help or you know, oh, you know, but it was just a breakout of thanksgiving and as they proceeded to to deliver that child so every one of us who had been stuck in that pattern of repeated cycles that was a sign from the lord to let us know that indeed we have you know broken out we have broken out that thing that we've been carrying that we've not been able to bring to birth <clears throat> that thing that has felt like a pregnancy of of more than nine months that has felt like a pregnancy of however long we are at the point of birth and we are you know we are going to uh birth successfully so we're going to open our mouth and give thanks for that because that is such a powerful strong sign and you know why that was important because i know that when i used to be stuck in seasons in my life that felt like i was going around in, in circles there were two kinds of dreams that i would always have and they were always kind of connected to each other it would either be around the exam scenario or it would be around this part of like you know needing to birth and nothing is available no thing is available or it can't come out or there's not enough resources just different kinds of things so when i saw that in the spirit and it was a breakout of thanks even for you know coming to that successful point of birth i just knew it was a, it was an answer from god concerning the things that we spoke of so um we're going to thank god for that in a second but i wanted shade to share what she also um saw um overnight so shade over to you okay thank you um amy so um it was interesting um i was attending something at faith tabernacle right and if anybody has been to any of their conventions i know amy has <laughs> um it gets very very rowdy and there's just yeah. like so so many people it's overwhelming so i was there and some old friends from when i was a covenant festival also with me and you know i, I was the one who had a car now the first encounter I had was actually with Bishop Oedipo himself. Like he was mm. somehow directing traffic and I was walking towards my car when I saw him at an intersection and he was not in a very great mood. Again, Amy will probably understand what this means because everybody was misbehaving and he was just vexed. <laughs> and so oh. I, I was, oh my gosh, like, should I approach him? I'm just trying to get to my car. And he just looked upon me and he welcomed me he like he just i just found favor with him and he was like oh yeah please go to your car all of that so this was the first stage now the second part as i get in my car i i come in contact with the former head of of the student council and he says hey please i need a ride to um the venue so i say of course there's room in my car come in now we get there again the crowd is overwhelming we're like at the point of just even discussed like 
do, will we even make it there? Are we even going to get a place to park? Talk less of even where to sit. And then he says to me, oh, because of my former position, it's kind of like a, a, a privilege that I have. We're going to get preferred parking and we're going to get preferred seating. So don't worry, just mm-hmm. come with me just have me with you so um this this for me was like a huge thing because um again because of that position i was already on the brink of like giving up like i don't think that it's even worth mm. going and this person just shows up out of nowhere this is not somebody that i personally know um but he was student council at the time that i i was attending um covenant university and he just Basically, I found favor with him. It almost felt too mm. good to be true, but that was he gave me that mm. assurance. Don't worry, come with me. I have, I have access, and that was it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much, Shari. I had, I had mentioned it on the course. I said, you know, at least there will be somebody on, on the call who would have a very clear uh, uh, confirmation of you know the the word that was released yesterday and the prayers that we made and to even top it off you know what Shade has even shared today has also provided confirmation for that word that was released um as we prayed when i said favor and i couldn't i don't know why but you know it just favor is what i can say you know is is released so let's just you know lay hold of these things because when these things happen they're not just dreams because someone ate they're, they're very distinct dreams that god is given to communicate his position on this matter to let us know he's involved um and he's in control so we're going to just you know uh uh yes 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 favor 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 it's, it's so crucial and then those situations that i felt like you were stuck in you couldn't get through um that's what we've seen you know being played out in shade's dream that access that ability to break past you know whatever seemed like a blocker or you know things that would naturally hold you down so thank you so much Shadi, right because we have i mean at one second we're going to take your testimony as well because we you know it just connects with the prayer points that the holy spirit gave me this morning right so the first one was just just to thank god right just to thank god for giving that confirmation that he sent that word and when god sends the word he's the one with the responsibility of performing it thankfully it right so this is not us trying to push something into existence this is that god said something and because of that he's committed to doing it so we're going to thank god for that everything that you know we have been working toward or we have been trying you know it's clear now that access has been given to us for those of us who seem to be carrying something heavy but could never bring it you know to the point of birth or it could never crystallize to that point just because we hadn't fully you know gone through certain seasons um Clearly, the Lord is giving us that breakthrough where we're able to deliver that which you are carrying without any encumbrance. So we're going to give thanks to God for that. We're going to just give him all the praise. There's one other prayer point that we're going to make right before we take the communion. So Shadi, unfortunately, this is going to spill into the family altar a little bit, but I think it's worth us closing out this, this section for the, the monthly prayers properly with um, everything it is that um, the Lord has done. So Eromina, we're going to take your testimony one second, but let us just open our mouths, right? And just thank God thank God for confirming his word and as a result of that we also know that the performance is right around us is right beside us so let's open our mouth and begin to thank the name of the Lord for that thank you Jesus oh thank you Father for sending your word thank you Father because your word has come forth from you it shall not return to you boy because you who have spoken it you have also confirmed it and we thank you Lord because you are going to perform it Lord we give all the praise and glory Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed.
Amen. 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 There was Amen. one prayer point. Madam Beta and Romina, don't worry. We are we are gonna see this. We're gonna get there soon. I want to just close out the prayer points so that we just go straight into the testimonies, then we take the communion and then we move to the family altar. But so uh shall I confirm the prayer point that the Spirit of God dropped on my heart um this morning as I was getting ready for the for the uh, for the prayers. Um and what I just heard was that, you know, like you know, the gift of men, the gift of men, right? Because um you know when you're trying to do certain things when you're trying to accomplish certain things you do need the gift of men you need men who have access men who have means men who just favor you just look at you and look at what you're doing and decide that they want to be part of it or that they want to help you even without having any stake in it right and i just heard the gift of men so that's something that we're going to be you know uh uh, uh just declaring right because basically what we've seen from Shade's dream is that being played out that there are certain men who come into your life there are certain obviously not just you know men as a gender but like humans there are certain people who will come into your life who will just be the ones to open that door that you've been knocking on right places that it seems that you don't have the stature to get into you don't have the the access level you don't have the clearance level to get into there are certain people who will come into your life and will be the reason why those things open up for you just like we have seen in each other's dream so we're going to just be declaring that like um as we have received favor that there will be there will be men that god will tap that he's going to push in our direction that will, you know, basically hold our hands and say, you know what, I have access to these people. I have access to this amount of resources that you need for this project or this business. I have um, connections in this area and I want to help you for no other reason, but I believe in what you are doing or the Lord just, you know, put it on my heart or I just don't know why I feel like helping you. There are those kinds of situations like that when people help you and they don't even know why. They don't have any interest in you personally. They don't have any interest in like what you're doing per se as far as like, oh, I must, you know, get a cut from it. But something just comes on their heart. And um, Pastor Paul and Nietzsche gave a testimony of this man who needed to do a business and he needed billions to execute the business. And obviously, first of all, you're in Nigeria. Nobody's trying to give you money, right? And so to make it worse, like he's trying to get billions. So it's like, where are you going to find it? But this was a legit business and all he needed was somebody who would be able to give him that money to execute that business, which will obviously launch him into a completely new season of his life. And so what happened was this man, for no out of nowhere, just because um, he was connected to Pastor Polenenche, offered to loan him the money. And he's wondering like, okay, what do you need from me? What do you need me to sign? This and that. And he's like, nothing. You're Paul, Pastor Polenenche's uh, son, right? Fine, I, I loan you the money just like that this man gave him billions and he went and he transacted you know with that money it was very successful and he was able to return you know the money that was loaned to him to that man do you understand that there are certain things that you will not be able to do even with the best intentions you will not be able to do that except there are people who stand up for you now if that man had to go to a bank to get a loan like let's be real first of all you don't have a track record you don't have up to a billion in your account nobody's giving you that money Nobody is giving you that money. Sometimes what you need is a man who shows up and says, you know what, I will put my neck on the line for you. I will help you. And that's what that man did for him. He carried out that business. He transacted. It was hugely successful. He returned the money complete and according to schedule. No, no, you know, excuses, no, no issues. And the man said, wow, you know what, any other business that you're looking to do again, that requires like maybe a higher level of capital than what you have available to you, reach out to me. I will be happy to help you. Do you understand that kind of how deep that kind of favor is some of us can't even find somebody to loan us a million naira we can't even find someone to loan us you know i don't know hundreds of thousands we're not even in the millions much less billions but we know what we need to do we have very clear certainty that this thing is going to be successful but we cannot find that person who's just going to say you know what i'll help you and that's why we are stuck it's not for lack of ideas it's not because we don't have good character the resources so we're going to just decree that father even in this season as you know you have confirmed this you know favor and access that is open to us let it usher in the gift of men that we need the gift of men that we need to execute our business some of us maybe it's even like you know a right hand person in your business a person you can trust right maybe it's not money you need maybe it's somebody who you can trust will not destroy your business or steal from it i don't know what it is but we're going to be speaking that the gift of men is made available for us even today in the name of jesus let's just open our mouths and pray that for one minute 
Sabora menda fene kazali asiza mende pratu kabeski mando jeke te para salu fene mesto sanda saria araba baba boba sote mesto sambra fene ke te masu nambra abisni mande leri dos mantara bista benedicio mandaya araba baba ya mandare bokina leri bokaza mendi ado Father thank you thank you thank you for the gift of men thank you Father for the gift of men let us not grant command that they get to mendi asiri baraya la. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of men. Thank you, Father, for the men are to help us. Men are in my direction. Thank you for the gift of men. Amen. Thank you, Lord. There's another very powerful confirmation of the word that was released last night, even in the chat section, and I'm going to read it. It's from Sister Fade. She says, you know, here's another confirmation. While we were praying, I saw a butterfly emerging and heard the Lord say, you're going to emerge and begin a soar because before now, you've been trying to break out of your cocoon, but you could not. Now you can. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As many of us as you know, are here and standing on the word of the Lord, just know this, that the word of the Lord will not fail. The word of the Lord says that heaven and earth may pass away, but not a single word that he has spoken will fail. So we thank God for sending the word and for confirming it through multiple people and in multiple different ways, all saying the same thing, that now is the season where we can break out and break forth into that which he has uh, allocated for us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so uh, Roman, uh, just briefly, because we have we have stolen all of Shah this time for the Bambi altar. So Aramina, if you can share your testimony quickly with us, let's let's go. Okay, praise the Lord. Um, I've come to testify to the goodness of God. The first one is my son. This time last year, okay, September, uh, we moved him from his former school to join the sister in another school. So the first time was pretty rough. The teacher complained in his um, text, um, his results that he is quite slow in writing. I, I took it up with this girl. I'm like, don't call my son slow. You can mm. use another one. Okay, maybe he didn't catch up or something. What is his quite mm. slow? I really raised doors and I, I didn't I didn't let it sit with me. So that night I couldn't sleep. I took it to God. I remember the Bible that the Bible verse that said um the um, don't they be anxious for nothing but in prayer and supplication mm. make your request known to god so i told god i say ah, how can my own son not be able to write he he can write but he's quite um it's it scribbling he's just four, four okay he's just five he just turned six mm. and i'm like that's too much load for one person my son is not slow <laughs> i reject every report and I prayed about it, cried about it, and I put it as a prayer point that my, my son would write. And to God be the glory, this is third time they just finished promotion exam. He came first in his class. Wow, the little wow, one came wow. first in our class too. And I'm like, see who they say could not write mm-hmm. first time. Mm-hmm. And now he is mm-hmm. writing. The second Thank testimony you, is that I brought five names to EIC altar for Fruit of the Womb mm-hmm. Blessings. Two out of those five names are currently pregnant. I just want Hallelujah. to return all the glory to God because Hallelujah. he doesn't just start. He's Alpha and he's Omega. He will finish yeah. it. Those five Thank people you, will conceive. And in time, Amen. I will come here and testify for each Amen. and every one of them. And then the Thank third you, one Lord. is that my I posted one business flyer on AIC page. That time they were doing um, Marketplace Tuesdays. And suddenly, somebody just chatted me. Oh, hello, Aromina. Can you guys hear her or is it just me? No, I can't hear her. Oh, Aromina, something is going on with your network. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Yes. Can anybody hear me? Yes, we can okay. hear you now. The last uh, testimony was that... Um, 
an advert I put up on AIC page like months ago. I'd even forgotten that I put it because they stopped doing their uh, marketplace Tuesdays. And somebody just chatted me out of the blue this morning that she needed chops and I have mm. taken the order and I'm going to supply Hallelujah. later today. I just want to yeah, yeah. glory to God because it comes it looks like you're coming out from obscurity. It looks like oh something that you have forgotten, something that mm. that you have left still is finally mm. bringing forth. So I think Hallelujah. that's a confirmation of the prayer yesterday praise yes. the lord absolutely hallelujah thank you so much for sharing that room and let me tell you as the bible says the seed of the righteous shall be mighty okay so there's none of us here whose child will receive any kind of negative report whatever it is that you know may come as a report from you know teachers or whoever you know we know it's false right because we know what the word of the lord says about our children thank you father for that powerful testimony uh uh, in a Romanas life, can you imagine somebody that they're like, oh, he's slow. Not that, you know, okay, he's just playing catch up. Mm-hmm. They're like, he's slow behind schedule, only to not just do well or catch up, but to be ahead of others. That's just the hand of the Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. And that other testimony, thank you, Romina, because that is indeed a confirmation of what we're saying. Something that seemed long forgotten, something that seemed like it couldn't be done or it couldn't be accomplished. Suddenly, that pile is being dusted. It's being addressed and it is being, you know, pushed to, to, to approval for you in the name of Jesus. So everything it is that you've been working on and, you know, God had been preparing you for and it felt like, you know, this thing is delaying or this thing is not coming through. This is is like a powerful testimony to let you know, no matter how long it seemed that you had been stuck in that pattern, no matter how long it seemed that you had been stuck in that cycle, you are coming out. Just like a Romina's uh, business came out even after how many weeks or so of, of her posting that flyer and it seemed like it didn't you know make any traction so that that circle you have been walking around and around about you are coming out of it finally in the name of jesus uh madam binta let's take your testimony okay praise the lord hallelujah, hallelujah. so um for some time now i've been having this uh, repeated dream you know whereby i used to see myself in a bus or a public bus, you know, but before the bus take off, I'll just jump out of the bus. Maybe I'll go out to urinate or to buy something. Before I come back, the bus will be full and then they will take off. And then I will just be there left stranded. And then yesterday, when I woke up, I dreamed that about to join a flight, you know. I was mm. a fl- oh, hello. And then- can you then oh, when you go to my but I'm being tell you're 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 going in and out so uh, no we can't hear you. my passport can you hear me now okay we can hear you now okay hello you. okay, okay. Yes, yes 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 so I said that um, I was always having this dream that when I'm uh, in a bus, before the bus will take off, you know, I'll just alight, I'll just get down the bus, and before I come back, maybe I'll go uh, to buy something in the morning, before I get back, the bus will have taken off, you know. And then yesterday, I dreamed I was about to board a flight. I was right there, you know, about to enter the, the plane, you know, and then I realized I didn't have my passport. So I had to go back, I had to run to go pick pick up my passport and then that is when I woke up and then I joined the prayer uh, yesterday morning. So you know after the word came, you know, I just you know I received you know with my uh we're breaking that cycle of um, repeated uh, uh, dreams or cycle of uh, 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 repeated dreams. So I just you know prayed I prayed with the whole of my heart that God Father, this will be the end of this. And to God be the glory this morning. I'm excited, you know. I woke up. Uh, the dream I had last night was that I was in a room and we were just praising God. We we're thanking God, dancing and praising and dan- praising God. Then all of a sudden, I saw myself in another room. Then in that room, I just saw that, you know, I was not being dressed in garments, you know. I was given oh, yeah. a cloth, you know, something so colorful, like Ghana Kente. And then there was this mm. crown again that was being put on my head, oh, you know. Yeah. And then people were just, from left right center, they were just giving me stuff, you know. And then Thank this you, confirmed you. what morning, you know, when you said the gift of men, favor and the gift mm. of men. So I just yeah, had so. everything. Confirmation of the word. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this powerful testimony from Madame Binta. Madam Binta. Sorry, because I'm a little excited. So, but who remembers the Bible study on Saturday when I said that I saw someone who was supposed to be catching a flight, who was supposed to be in a yes, shuttle bus taking everybody to, yes, yes. to the airport. And this yes, person that was the first yes. thing that happened. I remember. I remember. Yeah. That's I true. Her her passport well, and I was like, you know what? stay in the bus and I'll get the passport. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering Madame Binta from this cycle of delay or just like missing what she's supposed to be part of. Thank you, Father. Listen, these are beautiful, powerful testimonies. Let's just thank God one more time. These are beautiful testimonies, confirmations. Let's just open our mouth and thank the Lord. Lord, thank you. We are full of gratitude. Who are we that you are mindful of us? Father, we bless your name. Father, we bless your name. Father, we bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for this powerful testimony that are sealed by the blood of Jesus. And I thank you, Father, because of the powerful testimonies that are seen for others who are trusting you for a, a, a testimony in their own situation. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Uh, Madam Wanita, just give give me a minute um, because uh, we are way 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 past our time, um, and this is Shade slot. But Shade, we have to take a testimony, right? We we cannot leave a testimony on the table. First so up. first, please, Madam Wanita, please go on and share your testimony. Shalom, shalom, everyone. Shalom, Madam Wanita. Um, I thank God that um, he gave me a privilege to um, uh, to take uh, people to different parts of the world. Mm. Uh, we signed the contract, I think it's um, two months ago. Mm. But um, as we were signing it, there is a way I was like, is this true? Are these guys really true? But on my way, God was telling me that, Joanita, learn 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 mm. so um, i was taking a delegation to dubai last week mm. and the people that we had signed the contract with had told us that there is a climate change um a conference and people will be educated and there will be different opportunities so per the level of networks that i have and per the trust that people have in me so I really got some people <laughs> to, to take them there. And when we got there, uh, the shock on me was that there was no conference. <laughs> uh. But the Holy Spirit told me that I should visit my consulate. So I went and I visited my consulate. And as I was coming out of the consulate, I just said hi to a person and this person uh, and I said what I wanted, why I was there. And this person gave me a link uh, for business. But as I, as I was going back to the hotel, I was seated uh, with one of my friends that I went with. I met a guy from Pakistan. And he said, ha, huh, I can feel the Holy Spirit around here. And I'm like, huh, yes, I feel the Holy Spirit too. And he said, what do you do? Who are you? What? So I told him everything that I was doing. And guess what? That gave me room for those who wanted to do business in Dubai. I was Hallelujah. able to connect most of the individuals with whatever businesses mm. that they wanted to do. Hallelujah. And everybody came back to Tanzania. We came back uh, the day before yesterday night. So mm. everybody came back happy with contacts and Thank knowing you, what they want to do. You, but Lord. what was even funny enough or surprising for me is that there were people that I would see and I would get a burden or I would feel if they have a stomach ache, I would feel the stomach pain. Those that had issues with emotions, they were in pain because of loss, I would feel it. So it was quite a fight for me. Uh, managing um, brain for these people and at the same time risk management for whatever had taken place. So I went to bed and this 
picture of these people kept coming and something woke me up like hey you need to go downstairs these people are looking for you and i need you to do one i need you to pray for them i need you to speak this i need you to say this so um, imagine i'm in a restaurant and in an in, in a foreign land very arabic and i'm trying to hold myself from not praying but as when i'm close to them it's like i want to burst in tongues so i couldn't really control it so i i just there's a way i spoke to them first then i went back to sit my seat was a bit hot and pokey pokey so i couldn't sit so i had to go back and i just touched their hands and i could read i could feel everything so i started praying and they didn't tell me whatever they were going through so i prayed and i prayed there was the spirit of comfort there was um spirit of um uh, like there was something that they really needed there was there was a lot of things so when i finished praying and these were german couples a german and some poland so as i finished praying the husband said ha huh, you know i was in tongues he said you know i didn't know what you said but what i know there is a burden that has been lifted from my chest from my back and the wife was in tears and they said that we came to dubai because we were going through a loss so i thought coming to dubai would help my wife feel better and after the prayers they said that the wife was feeling so good and everything was moving so hallelujah. well hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord and thank you lord my Thank partner my partner was crying all the time she was like joanita what is this why did this person not tell us the truth that is 1 2 3 4 what is this and deep down i was not shaken by anything and everybody was looking at me like joanita what kind of a soul do you have you're not shaking and you're always out of the hotel you're carrying this person hey you need to go meet this person you don't know this place and you go and come back and i'm like Uh, I tell them like that's what benevol is benevol we connect businesses nitanelius we connect businesses and this is what we are here for so my partner comes and she's crying and I'm like and I remind sorry, her like to you, madam wanita sorry because we are in the in the um we are on the family altar we're taking so much time from the family altar right so I want to make sure Shadi still has time to pray for people's families so you know we have just maybe if you can wrap up in a couple of seconds so that we can hand over to Shadi and we still haven't taken the communion. Thank you so much. Yeah, so I thank God and um the best thing of it is that we came back with some good contracts. Hallelujah. And I'm praying to God that everything manifests itself in yeah. the physic. Thank you. Lord. And we have an opportunity with the king of Dubai mm. to do some great things for Tanzania. So Lord. this Thank is a miracle. Thank you for sharing that testimony. Yes. You know why I, I like that testimony? It's still along the lines of the gifts of men. Strangers who just will come out of nowhere and would be willing to, you know, help move you into where you're supposed to be. So let's just um let's just you know in our quiet corner let's just thank God for that powerful testimony thank you madam wanita for sharing but this has been a you know beautiful morning of these beautiful testimonies thank you lord for every single one of them thank you because they are sealed by the blood and thank you because everything it is that you know everyone is trusting on you for these testimonies are a sign okay they are not just for us to hear that wow this happened to you they are a sign of the confirmation of our own expectations you know being established and being fulfilled in the name of Jesus thank you father for in Jesus name we have prayed amen amen so i hope everyone has taken um has uh, held their uh, communion with them because we're about to take the communion but i do want to just uh, mention something that someone sent to me um a confirmation of what i said that i saw somebody holding their belly and they were in labor and you know they were contracting and they were just full of joy and praising god as they you know proceeded to birth whatever was in their belly someone has just said to me well a few minutes ago messaged me on whatsapp to let me know that they had that exact same experience an encounter in their dream where they basically just got to a point of like contracting and like birthing and they pushed out you know some you know two big 
uh, things out of them. And, you know, as that happened, they were filled with so much relief and, and, and thank you God. And indeed, someone came to ask them, are you okay? Like what you just birthed is so huge, you know, are you fine? And they were just excited and relieved and, and thanking God for it. And as they woke up, they literally felt that, you know, something had left them and they truly woke up feeling relieved and were holding their belly, you know, from that, uh, that, that feeling of relief that they had from the dream. So we thank God for this powerful testimonies. We thank you for, thank God for this powerful encounters. Everything that you have been holding within that needed to be birthed is coming out. Everything that represented even, maybe even like a blockage in your system, right? Some of us who are birthing, you know, uh, uh, dreams, we're birthing ideas, we're birthing visions. Some of us are pushing out blockages that were in our system, whatever that is for you either way this is happening and it is happening with joy and thanks to god that this thing has finally come out of you okay thank you father for all of these testimonies in jesus name let's take the communion we're going to be quick with it but um if you have your uh communion with you we're going to pray and we're going to uh consecrate them as the body and the blood of jesus and something specifically that came to me as i prepared for the communion today was that god put a word in my heart about what this communion represents right many of us are looking to do these things and like i said you know nothing nothing that god has written about us will be left without being fulfilled that's the word that the lord gave to me for this month and so as we're taking the communion today i want us to understand that what we're doing is we're taking the blood and the body of our lord and our savior jesus and so what this represents in our lives is everything you know because the things that we're looking to do in our families or in our lives the reality is some of us it's not the first time you're not going to be the first to try it so you know as excited as you are about your dream you know and you're sharing it with your maybe your mother or your father they're like wow wonderful cool story not because they don't believe in you but because maybe they tried it and it didn't work out for them maybe their sibling tried it and it didn't work out for them maybe their own parents tried it and it didn't work out and so as much as they want to believe what you're doing, it's like we've seen this thing fail before, right? For whatever reason. So we're taking communion today and on this specific prayer note that the things that are in your bloodline, the things that had stopped people who came before you or the things that tripped people up who came before you in your bloodline, maybe these people truly had a big destiny and but something tripped them up or something stopped them dead in their tracks. Whatever it is, as we take the body and the blood of our Lord and our Savior Jesus today, whatever is written in your spiritual or physical DNA that is supposed to work against the actualization of what you are doing is being rewritten by the blood of Jesus. As you take, as you eat into the body and the blood of Jesus today, everything that is in your DNA, whether your physical DNA, I'm talking about health issues, I'm talking about, you know, uh, conditions that are maybe in your body or your spiritual DNA, maybe things that were done in your family. And so it's like a trickle. Some of these things look like behavior that goes from mother to father or rather from mother to child. Maybe your mother was a very cantankerous person. And now you find that you cannot deal with people in peace. You're always fighting. Or maybe your father couldn't ever finish a project. And so you find yourself in this position where you are starting many projects, never able to finish them. Whatever has been written in your dna whether physical or spiritual that had hindered you or maybe it came through your blood and this is the perfect segue into the family altar whatever it was that you know comes to you from your family from your bloodline whether it's spiritual occurrence whether it's physical occurrence that keeps stopping people and is threatening to stop you now now that you have come of age and you're looking to do something similar or greater than what has been attempted in your family as we partake of the communion today the whole of those things are broken you are feeding into the bloodline of christ it is a pure blood and it has none of these infirmities none of these conditions none of these curses none of whatever it is that attract in your own family's uh, uh, blood it has nothing in it so as we partake of the communion today that is what we are we are we are we are, we are we're stepping into that is what we are fellowshipping into the complete deliverance from all of these things so that we actually accomplish that which the lord has put in our hearts so let's just um um for those who are in eic i understand that um you're on a fast okay so it's okay if you want to skip the communion but for those who are you know in king's arrow and are not on a fast feel free to take the communion those who are in king's arrow or eic who are on a fast feel free to take your communion today when you break your fast so you're probably going to break your fast at 6 p.m or 3 p.m or whatever i want to just pray so whatever instruments of communion you have with you let the prayer like you know we're going to pray over them if you are not fast if you're fasting and you want to take it later after you break your fast just you know 
let them be prayed over and then put them somewhere so that when you break your fast around 6 p.m. or whatever time, you make sure to take it before you eat your food. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we cons- I consecrate all of these instruments of communion as the body and the blood of our Lord and our Savior Jesus. We thank you, Father, because even as he instructed us that if we do not eat his body and we do not drink his blood, we will not have life. And so, Father, today we drink and we eat into that quality of life, that eternal life that Christ brought to us. We ask, oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We ask, Lord, that every one of these pieces of uh, of communion, wherever they may be, from this point on, they cease to be just common, uh, common items. They are now consecrated for the purpose of communion. And as everyone who's partaking of this communion today drinks and eats the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus, everything it is that's represented in the blood of Christ that makes for the ability of a man to fulfill that which he was created for, let it be imputed to us in the name of Jesus. And Father, everything that is in our bloodline that represents a blocker, that represents an interruption of the man's destiny, Father, let it be addressed by the communion even today in the name of Jesus, that every single person on the altar today will achieve that which God has called them to do in Jesus' name. We plug into the pure, the perfect, and the powerful blood of Jesus and let that be the bloodline that we draw our realities from as opposed to our physical bloodline in the name of Jesus. Only the realities that are present and captured in the blood of Jesus find expression in our lives and our destinies from today henceforth. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you all, thank you all, thank you all. Again, if you're fasting, if you're an AIC and you're fasting or you know, regardless of whether it's an AIC fast or your personal fast, you don't have to take your communion right now. We're going to, those who are not fasting, feel free to take yours. But if you're fasting, just keep yours aside. And when you break your fast at the end of the day, um, just be sure to take it. Thank you all. God bless everyone. Shade, go back to you. I'm not sure there's much time. But <laughs> what are you over it? Sorry. Sorry. I don't know. I don't know. But just take it. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Well, um, thank you, Amy, for leading us so powerfully um this last hour and you know it's it's the communion really is a perfect segue because as i was preparing for this i i heard apply apply the blood to the doorpost apply the blood to the doorpost and we've already done that um so let's just take the next two minutes to just thank god and then we'll take the the prayer the other prayer that the lord um would have us pray today so i wherever you are even as you've taken communion or you know by the spirit you know just applying the blood on your doorpost um of your family of your life like let's just unmute and just begin to thank the lord for what the blood is 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 speaking concerning us or what the blood is saying rather concerning us let us unmute and begin to thank god thank god thank you jesus thank you jesus for the powerful blood of christ made available to us thank you lord thank you father for calling us into the reality of the presence of the blood of jesus Lord, we bless your name. Lord, Amen. You know, one of the powerful things about the blood of Jesus is that it's really such like it, it it's it's able to do so many different things um madam deborah please can you mute thank you um it's able to do so many things you know just like um 
a prophet is able to you know uproot tear down and build and all of that i feel like the blood to me at least um and, and even as um scripture has shared you know but especially that rooting out pulling up things cleansing and all of that um it's so powerful it's so so powerful and what we're going to do now is balance that with the building up um and in Psalm 107 verse 20 this is a very com- uh, not common but something that we say a lot um and we know of is he's, the word says he sent his word and healed them and saved them from their destruction and the key word here to me is that he sent his word which means the word of god can be sent it can be sent to do something to accomplish something sent like an errand like it's being sent on assignment right and we're sending that word and it does something when it is sent the word of god does is not just something that we say it is it is a proclamation it, it is how we it's the foundation the very foundation on which we build upon so we're going to send the word of god today concerning our families now um specifically um towards the the um I, I have to be careful when I say this, but basically, uh, you know, so a lot of us on this call now, we're married, obviously. And and so when you leave your family and your husband who has left his own family, you create your own family, right? That's, that's a new family that's being birthed. And what that represents is a new opportunity for everything that plagued you, just as, you know, Madam Amy mentioned earlier, like things from your bloodline that you know have he like up until now have troubled you and brought you stress and have held you back and all of these things there's that new opportunity for you in this new family setting to 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 build something else to create a different kind of legacy because truthfully truthfully you may not be able to solve all the problems or your family like you, you can't even do that right um only god can but here's the thing. Sometimes when we focus on the problems versus what is possible ahead, we tend to be discouraged. And what then happens is without even realizing it, you, bec- you begin to like just hold on to that fear of what you saw in your in your house growing up. And you begin to almost like um, act in a way that causes you to like you're acting like you're in agreement with it. And so moving forward, even as you are in this new home or in this new place that God is giving you, you find yourself repeating words and speaking words over your current situation that is not aligned with the word of God. Now, I'm speaking now for people who are married, but if you are not, and, you know, maybe the place that you grew up in is not exactly um, the best and you're drawing the line that the blood of jesus you've applied the blood and you're like i want to be excluded i'm exempt from all of this how do i do this moving forward we're gonna it's it's still the same thing we have to send the word of god we have to send the word of god over like concerning our destinies concerning the destinies of our spouses our children and of course it is god's will that yeah i I mean i can say this as a blanket statement you know god said it's not good for a man to be alone so it is it is clear that god it's it's you know overarching except for the few exceptions here and there that we all come into that new place of finding a you know having our own family and being able to create that legacy so i say all of that to say this that today we're going to send the word of god into our situation so we're praying two prayers the first one is sending the word of god into the new family whether you already have a family but by marriage and you have children and all of that so you're waiting to have children or you know at some point you hope to have families we're gonna we're gonna speak the life of god and we're gonna so we're gonna send the word of god into that situation the second aspect though is as in as much as we want to be exempt one of the obviously we're not condemning our current family or the family of birth to hell we are not doing that you know we're gonna intercede for them but I know for a fact I'm, I was guilty. I'm, I am guilty of this, and the Lord has convicted me multiple times. It's like you can't keep speaking about your family of origin like that and expect that when you now go the following day to intercede for them, that's so, like it's almost like you're contradicting yourself. And so you must speak a blessing over them. You should be speaking a blessing over them. You should be sending the word of God into their lives, into their home, whatever the situation is, no matter how bad it seems. So these are the, this is what the 
the the Lord wants us to do today and the scripture that we're going to be speaking over them um is if I know we're gonna misplace the scripture okay yes um Deuteronomy 28 this is again a, a scripture that we're pretty familiar with um or if you can put this in the group chat in the chat section um Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 to 14 and we're going to declare the word of God you know where people are balanced we we speak in tongues a good bit that is great but there's also the place for the word of God and declaring the word of God in in a way that you understand in a way that we all understand it and send these words send these words so if you um please put that in the group chat deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 to 14 um i'm going to run through it and then we're going to start praying it says if you fully obey the lord your god and carefully follow his commands i give you today the lord will set you high above all the nations on earth all these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the lord your god you will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country the fruits of your womb will be blessed and the crops of your land and the young of your livestock the calves of your herds and the lambs of your flocks your basket and your kneading trough will be blessed you'll be blessed when you come in and you'll be blessed when you go out the lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you they will come at you from one direction but flee from you in seven the lord will send a blessing on your bonds and on everything you put your hand to the lord your god will bless you in the land he is giving you the lord will establish you as his holy people as he promised you on oath if you keep the commands of the lord your god and walk in obedience to him then all the peoples of the earth will see that you are called by the name of the lord and they will fear you the lord will grant you abundant prosperity in the fruits of your womb the young of your livestock the crops of your ground in the land he swore to your ancestors to give you the lord will open the heavens the storehouse of his bounty to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands you will lend to many nations but will borrow from none the lord will make you the head not the tail if you pay attention to the commands of the lord your god that i give you this day and carefully follow them you will always be at the top never at the bottom do not turn aside from any of the commands i give you today to the right or to the left following other gods and serving them now of course this is it is clear that this these are commands for people who are obedient to god disobedience to god is going to invite a whole set different set of things into your life but because we are people of god we're people of faith we are we are in obedience to god through christ jesus christ is our righteousness and so we can take hold of these things now of course we have um you know maybe unsafe family members people that are in complete opposite of what god is saying we can still speak a blessing because when some of these blessings came as you know that the israelites they were a haggard people and even in their state of sin god will still send a prophet to bless them and say if you obey god this will happen to you if you obey god this will happen to you so even as we pray for for repentance for for the lost ones and even maybe your current family situation doesn't look like what god has said would look like we can still speak a blessing we can still send the word of god to do that which it's 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 said to do and and like he says um i see the scripture isn't in the chat let me just copy and paste it um if if you have it oh sorry for some reason i can't see it um that that's my my chat's fault but um thank you um so we're going to just take a moment right now to 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 begin to declare this scripture over our current family and even our family of birth over your if you're not married here begin to send that word send it to your husband send it to your children that have not been born yet speak to your womb whatever it is let's begin to Mm -hmm. declare Let's begin to declare the scripture on mute. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for this blessing. Father, thank you for this blessing that shall overtake me. Thank you for all this blessing that shall overtake me, even as we give and tell ourselves to serve you, O God. Thank you for this blessing that shall be evident in our life. Father, I thank you. That my because my family is blessed in the city. My family is blessed in the field. Father, I thank you because the fruit of my body is blessed. Yes, Lord, my children are blessed. They are blessed. They are blessed. They are blessed. They are blessed. Thank you, Father, because the fruit of my ground that is the work of my hand. Thank you, Father, because it is blessed. Thank you, Father, because it is the outcome of my work. It is blessed. So shall it be spoken of the world. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for the blessings of the written word. Everything is blessed in the written this everything work together for me. Amen. 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 And so, Father, we thank you. 
we thank you, Lord, because your word will always, always accomplish that which it has been sent to do. So, Father, even as we have sent these words and we have sown these seeds into the ground and we have spoken these words over our families, our loved ones, Lord God Almighty, that these words will be established. They will be established. They will be established. Because, Lord, just one word from you, one word from you, and everything changes. Light comes, healing comes, deliverance comes, establishment comes. Everything that we are looking for is hanging on your very word, Lord. So, Lord, we hang on to these words today. We, 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 even as we've sown these seeds in faith, Lord God Almighty, they will bear fruit. They will bear fruit. They will bear fruit. That the enemy will not come and take and pluck this, this word out of our lives, out of this ground that we have sown in. In the name of Jesus. And Father, according to Numbers 6, 24 to 26, we pray, Lord, that you bless every family represented on this altar and you keep them. That, Lord, your face Amen. will shine upon them. And that, Lord, you will be Amen. gracious to them. And Father, we ask, oh God, that you will lift up your countenance upon them and give every single your peace. In Jesus' Amen. mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.